One of the challenges that we face going into London is that the competition has gotten so much better. You know, international basketball has really just developed and has grown um, even since we last faced this competition in 08. We have our hands full, but we're looking forward to that challenge. I prepare mentally and physically by going out there and playing. You know, at the end of the day, it's just basketball. You know, Coach K talked about yesterday was, you know, our egos. You know, he doesn't want us to check our egos at the door because that's what makes us, you know, who we are. He just wants us to come together and, and find a way to adapt to each other and to, to play together and still keep that, that, that edge, that competitiveness that drives us. Well, I'm continue to take more of a leadership role. I kind of try to use my voice. Um, and my command to try to help us win ball games, especially on the defensive end. So now being four years you know, older, I'm going to be even more of a leader you know, to some of the younger guys that we have on our team. Coaching uh, our national team in the games is the highest honor that you could get as a, as a head coach. In Beijing, to see uh, our flag raised above all the others is absolutely amazing. Well, I think it's the ultimate. Um, you know, for me to be able to represent my country, you know, and wear USA on my chest and, you know, represent that flag. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to be in a position where I can uh, help us be proud. It, it means so much to have the opportunity to be able to play for my country uh, and to be able to play the game I love. It's something that, you know, I think every athlete dreams of. You never think, like, I'm going to be there one day. You know, you just have those hopes and those dreams, like, wow, this is. You know, you just feel proud just being able to have that USA across my chest and represent so many people back home. It'll be a special moment. To have an opportunity to represent uh, everybody in the United States uh, is something I've been dreaming about ever since I was a kid. It uh, goes back from watching the Dream Team, you know, to have this opportunity to uh, go out there and try to do the same thing is, uh, is a blessing. You know, if you look probably 20, 20 years ago, the approach to, to training, to conditioning, to, you know, Strength and conditioning was, was totally different than it is now. It's more of a you know, scientific thing. Well, I think Nike Plus, it gives a, a player a chance to be competitive with himself before being competitive with anyone else. It serves as a source of information, but with that information comes motivation. Just every single year, Nike is, is definitely coming with something different. You know, and this year is one of the unrealest things I've seen as far as you know, having a chip in your shoe and being able to track you know, how, how quick you're moving or how high you know, you're jumping. It would have been amazing. Um, you know, as a kid, if I would have had this um, technology and this ability that you know, these shoes and this technology is creating. You know, the fact that you can track what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of uh, judge to see what you, are you better than your friend that day or to judge to see um, you know, your vertical from one week to the next week and then put it against your best friend or put it against your friends. Um, you know, it would add another competitive element to, you know, what we were able to do as kids and what I was able to do as a kid. It always starts from the, from the, the standpoint of what can, how can this make you a better athlete? How can this make you, help you to perform better? And so, you know, there's just a, you know, constant questioning uh, on my part of what's possible. Technology-wise, what can we do, whether it's cutting down the weight of a shoe, whether it's allowing a shoe to be a little bit more responsive and changing directions, um, whether it's stability, whether it's comfort. It always starts from you know, the standpoint of innovation and, uh, and trying to become a better athlete.